So this machine, Takeuchi TL240, it's a 2010. This is the second one that I've owned. The first one was yellow um, because it was a Gel CTL70. And for those of you that don't know, a Gel CTL70 is the same thing as a 140 Takeuchi or a 240 Takeuchi. And then they parted ways. It's like the link belt and case situation and the John Deere and Hitachi situation. Um, I bought this one used and it's got some stuff that needs to be addressed. Like these handles that somebody broke the old handles. They made these handles which they didn't do a terrible job. They just did it at like, you know, the shape isn't bad, you know, the way that they bent them, but their welding is terrible. So we're gonna address that. Um, the other thing is the guy that I bought this off of dropped a tree on the roof and bent the visor or brow, whatever you wanna call it. And basically I'm tired of people asking me, uh, like friends of mine, like, what'd you hit? What did you hit? I'm like, I didn't hit anything. I bought it used. So we're gonna take care of that. Uh, I would like to take care of scratches. Uh, the bottom's always gonna get scratched no matter what. The other thing too is these dents in the fins. He had got the machine stuck and he hooked a chain underneath to that hook in that one and then somehow grabbed the chain here and pulled up on it with an excavator to get it unstuck and bent these fins uh, by pulling a chain against them. So I don't know how far we'll get into it. We may not get to all this cosmetic stuff because um, I want to address the mechanical stuff first. So we got pins and bushings, but first we need to dismantle this. I don't think we need to take any of this apart. This one here does have to get bent back. It's been bent since I've owned it, but uh, it gets caught on one of the buckets or one of the attachments. I don't know if it's the grapple bucket or the... Um, it's not the forks. I'm trying to think. It doesn't matter. One of them, it gets caught on. It needs to get bent back. So, uh, I'm going to start taking this apart. Oh, and um, this cylinder is going to need to be repacked. Um, it doesn't leak a lot, but it's definitely wet. So, uh, that's just costing us money in fluid. And... We also have a leak somewhere up in here. So, let's get started. Watch out, bro. This bottom one is so bad that it's actually like just flopping around. I might have to cut it off. There's one. There's two. 
This is my zip tie I put over there. Trying to stop the dirt from getting in there. They work pretty good for a while. All right, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to clean all this up. Um, went and got some brake cleaner, parts cleaner. I'm gonna try to clean all this up in here first. Um, I had to zip tie the line up here because it wouldn't stop leaking. Then I don't have any caps. So when you don't have caps, you just, I usually just, you know, zip tie a rubber glove up top. All right, so you can see here how it's pretty worn. I was expecting it to be a lot worse, but it's still not good. This is what it looks like. I want to show you guys. See the seal? The seal is gone. Um, they gave me new seals. Alright, so I'm going to get this all cleaned up. And then I'll check back in with you. It spins through here. Um, it's a little worn there, but they give us a bunch of shims. Um... It doesn't spin in here, it just bolts through here. So the spinning happens in the bushing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get it all apart, then I'm gonna clean up the dirty parts so we can inspect them and I can show you the difference. Let me do that and this one's not, see, there's a big gouge right there going across. So like I said, they gave me a bunch of shims to take up the gap here between this plate and that so I'm gonna do that and I'm probably gonna take this cylinder off and then uh, I'll check back in probably tomorrow okay it's a new day and a new part um, I want to get this hydraulic cylinder off to have this repacked um, and you can see where the rocks come over the bucket and they hit everything um, I'm not sure they might have to put a new rod in it. Maybe I don't know. There's a hydraulic shop that I like to use, but I Almost forgot to turn the camera on when we started banging on this We took the bolt out and we started banging on this pin and then Bryson reminded me to turn the camera on um, While he holds the pin I'm hitting it with the uh, Special tool I was watching elite earthworks do his Takeuchi and I noticed that um 
he was using uh, splitting mall. So we, you know, we're just gonna keep with the uh, Takeuchi splitting mall fashion, <laughs> and uh, we're gonna follow his lead. We're using the old pin from down below because oh, yeah. it has this nice flat part to protect yeah. your hand. And that fits right in the center easily. All right, ready? Hold on, let me, it's not centered. There you go. Good. Good. Hold on, starting to shake. I don't want it to get stuck in there. Yeah. Here, that's got some play. We could use the old S cam <laughs> from our right. last project. Yeah. <laughs> Bang on the old S cam. Two hand. Here you go, guys. Look at that. Two hand. Two hand? Yeah, I know. I gotta. It's long enough. Huh. Yeah, I have to, anyways. It's heavy. Alright, ready? Yeah, go. This one shakes a lot. Yeah. Yeah, this one's shaking a lot more. Damn. I don't want this thing to fall out. Yeah, we're good. It's just shaking. Alright, I'm gonna let go. Ooh, came bouncing. This one has a neoprene shim on the inside. Right there. And this one's not bad at all. This guy doesn't do much turning. I think it already puked as much as my hand's gonna puke. Need a hand? <laughs> no, it definitely is gonna puke. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> There's the other shim. All right, so basically, we would just wipe this down and gotten it cleaner, you know, more presentable to work with. Now, we are cutting this plate in half. So, I seen guys, like I said, um, I seen guys pound these pins out before, but they usually have like an old one, like I said, like if you watch Elite Earthworks video. He had an old pin and bushing. I don't have an old pin in bushing. I'm just gonna make a press, uh, just cause I think it would, it would be beneficial to have, cause I have a port of power. So I have an idea to make, I got some threaded rod, and I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna put something together that we can use on some other stuff too, cause when I was working on the truck, I could've used this too to get, um, to get something that was stuck. So I think, I kind of want to just make something that we can have for other stuff too, since uh, we have a bunch of machines. I think it'll come in handy. So, how come we didn't just drill these holes? Um, two reasons why we didn't drill these holes. Um, number one, the bits that I have that size are all dull. I didn't feel like sharpening them. Um, because today is a holiday, so everybody is home. So I didn't want to make too much noise. And the most important reason why I didn't drill these holes and I used the torch is I just didn't want to. So I bought a bunch of, um, I don't know what you want to call them, dies or whatever for, you know, uh, press. I bought a whole bunch and none of them actually fit. They're all too big. So I'm going to use this socket from uh, an old socket set I got. Um, 
it actually fits perfect. Everything I have is just slightly too big, so we're gonna use this because I don't use this kit anymore, so. Good? All right, pump it. We get the port of power in there. I had to make a square hole. Is it going? No, it's not moving at all. <sighs> Nothing. Well, uh, I wonder if I have to weld a bead in there and then shrink it. I don't think so. Yeah. Bending the plate a little too. Is it? Is yeah. Bending the plate? Hit it with the water. Hit it. Full bore, right in the hole. Keep going. Oh, a big chunk just came out. Yep. Get the camera in. Yep. Here she comes. Okay, so we were going to town on this thing here and then the camera died. So we took a little break because it was getting very, very hot. But as you can see, the sun has cleared the house and we're in the shade now. So let's continue. Oh, it's really going now. There's a PB. I don't think you don't need even it. need it. You might want to hold that because yeah, yeah, you're yeah. going to have to hold the other end. Yep, you're right. Look at that. That's it. It worked. So that thing was in there pretty good. Oh yeah, for sure. The shizzle. That worked pretty kick-ass though, huh? I think so, I'm happy with it. I think it worked great. We're gonna use it on the other stuff too, right? Yeah, but on the other one, I think what we'll do is, I think we'll do the weld trick. You know what that is? Well, like similar to like uh You weld a bead on the inside and then you hit it with the hose and uh, cool it. Oh, yeah, cool. Or we could just heat it with the torch. You mean like we just did? Uh, yeah. All right, so what I'm going to do is, before I set that all up, I'm going to do a little torching on here. I probably could cut a slot through that thing. Um, what I wanted to do was, I really wanted to show my son. So, realistically, there's easier ways of doing this. But, because I'm hanging out with my son, and I want him to learn different things, this is what I'm doing. I wanted to show him that you can just weld beads across those. You know, you just do like one bead across the top, one like across the bottom, and then you hit it with the hose after it got that hot and then it shrinks. And then, you know, it'll come right out. But I forgot that I went to replace the welder cord and I never bought a new one, so. Put that on my list.
still sizzling. Keep it coming. Yeah, it's coming out fast. Be beautiful. It. It's going, it's going. Keep I know, going. I know it's going. Yeah, it's getting easier. Get ready. It's getting really easy to push. Let it go. All right, ready? All the way? Yep. All right. Bingo. Got it. Nice. Socket one. Socket two. I don't know if I could show you with the light. See how it's smooth right there? like halfway it's smooth before you can see the grease yeah there's no the grooves almost gone the grooves almost gone so what happens is is once they wear out like that you are pretty much not getting grease to there so and this is the one that we just took out and this one is like that on this side too it's the grease grooves pretty much gone over here see it's like smooth down this side there's no groove or line you know i bought this machine used so uh who know you know and it's pretty much had almost the same slop in it since i've owned it um so yeah so the holes are not egged out because we didn't wear through the bushing uh so the holes in the arm are nice this surface is nice. Uh, the inside's probably chewed a little because of dirt getting in there, but you know, like the face, I don't know what that is. There's a line there. Um, but I have shims that are gonna go here. So that's that one. This one's actually in better shape. There's no um, like cuts or grooves or anything, but you can definitely see where the dirt goes back and forth and grinds out there um yeah so we gotta get that one out next hey, hey, you bottomed out bottomed out pull right. back yeah all right you want to tap it yeah but i gotta be careful i don't bend the rod yep you shouldn't need much, ready? Yeah, I got an idea. Uh -huh. I got an idea, ready? <laughs> How much space do you, wait, if you put that in there, if you put that in there, and then just tap this. Yo, just be careful. I don't know how much force I need to apply here. That much force. Nice. The seal didn't come out. Didn't? Keep going. There we go. Good, now I got a socket permanently on the end of my hammer. Nice. Got a half inch drive hammer. This now. one wasn't bad. The grooves kind of all still there. Oh, yeah. The grooves are still there. You, know you can you actually see them. You couldn't see them on the other one. Yep. That. Can we talk about how I'm stronger than that? Yeah, seriously. <laughs> it's pathetic. You gotta be dumb, you gotta be tough. That's fair. It's 
why they call me Dirt Brute. Yeah. I'm a brute. Me. I'm dirty. I'm a, I'm a dirty brute. Seal. Is it bushing out though? We're gonna tap it out with a hammer again? Yeah, I think we're gonna hammer it. Hammer. 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 Here, you might have to. Here, you might have to just do it with you. Here, swap hands. Nice. Well, I'm gonna wash my hands. I'm gonna just pick up. No, no, no. Make sure you put things where they belong, though. I know where everything goes. Nope. Fail. Thank you.